Hello there. Bienvenidos. Welcome to Mexicarte Museum, the official Mexican and Mexican-American Fine Art Museum of Texas. We're located on the corner of Fifth and Congress uh, in the heart of downtown Austin, Texas. So now we're in the section entitled A Return to Classicism, where the art has more of a European feel, almost a Cubanistic feel as well. Before the Mexican Revolution of 1910, uh, the president of Mexico, also known as a dictator, had been Porfirio Diaz for 30 years he was in power. And during that time he felt that Europe was the model and he wanted Mexico to have a European feel within the architecture. Uh, so you see that coming back within these artists. Whereas uh, representing the nation focused on the indigenous, this focuses on art of Europe. So the artists were traveling to Europe seeing what kind of style was going forth at that time, which a lot of it included the, the nude figure. Um, you can see in some of these paintings we notice the architecture doesn't look like normal Mexican architecture. It has the columns and apartheids. Um, it has much more of a Roman and Greek feel. So these two paintings here by Federico Cantu are great examples of the Cubanistic, lots of geometrical shapes going on. Um, these were actually painted for a bar in Mexico City and they were left there and the collector Lance Aaron stumbled upon them and they were two great finds. Uh, but again you see the European side with the different shapes, the figure, and it's much more classical. There are two groups also known at this time, the Estrendistas and the Contemporaneos. And they would get together, they were the scholars, the poets, kind of the bohemians of uh, Mexico and the artist circle. And they were always on the cusp of what was going to be. Uh, the Estrendistas would often argue with the people that traditionally painted uh, the indigenous people. So it's an interesting uh, clash. But nonetheless, these artists were Mexicanos. They were very proud of their culture. They just wanted to expand and broaden their horizons, and therefore they traveled to Europe.